All right, tech fans, today we have something very interesting in-house. So it doesn't matter whether you're a blogger, a vlogger, someone who spends all their time on the internet making videos, a musician. I've got a product right here that comes to market at a little shy of $150. That's really amazing. But before we check out this product, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Busy Future. Are you looking for a gaming mouse? The Moto Speed V70 gaming mouse comes in two different colors, black or silver. It also features resolutions from 500 DPI up to 12,000 DPI that can be adjusted by the lower button on top of the mouse. There is also a function button as well located right below the scroll wheel and you also get two standard click buttons on top and two more on the side just like most gaming mice. The V70 also has RGB lighting that looks pretty cool in the black version but looks even cooler on the silver model. The braided 1.8 millimeter cable is long enough to reach the back of your PC and there are two different models available and we'll have both those links down below so check it out. Okay, so like I said, tech fans, this particular product is very interesting. I'm talking about the Audient Evo 4. Now, this is a two-in, two-out little recording device. It's 24-bit, 96 hertz, 133 dB. It has very, very, very nice components throughout the entire unit. This unit only cost $130, and yet it has features that you see in much more expensive products. Now, some of the cool features, like I said, it features two in and two out. Um, I'm not really quite sure of exactly why that's in, because there are two jacks on the back. Now, these will either work with your standard XLR or they'll work with line. These inputs are very simple, but there's also something that gets a little bit tricky to me, because on the very front, of the unit right here there's also a little jfet guitar input so is this not an input i'm just saying because to me this particular device actually has three inputs and three outputs and the reason i say that is because not only do you get the two great in the back that have great preamps you also get the jfet in the front now the jfet does color your signal a little bit but it's a nice warm signal and a lot of people are doing this i've other other products in the past where you could actually turn it on or turn it off this is a permanent thing but you also have a headphone out jack so that to me is means you have three ins three out so maybe to me i feel that the only really complaint i'll have is i kind of think this might have been should have been called the evo 6 but the evo 4 is what it is you know that's just how it is now the main feature about the entire Evo 4, though, as far as operation goes, is this little button right here in the front, or this dial in the front. Now, this dial does everything. It controls your input gain. It controls your headphone or your speaker balance and includes the, the volume for everything. Now, on the front, you're also going to see there are two buttons right here. These are your separate channels. And if you're a person who happens to have a microphone that needs phantom power, there's a little button right here that you just press and phantom power is instantly engaged, making it you know, very, very easy. Now, on the back as well, you have two speaker outputs. Now these speaker outfits are meant to go to powered speakers. So if you have passive speakers and you hook it up, you're not gonna hear probably anything because it's meant to only give a signal. It goes into your powered speakers and that's what you can use. Now, the fact this is also so very small, um, I have some little IK multimedia speakers. And so with my laptop, a keyboard, a microphone, and a few things, you can literally take the Evo 4 on the road with you and record anywhere that you want to do it. Something else that I find is really interesting about this particular product as well is that it will allow you to plug in to the main guitar in the front so you can plug in your JFIT guitar and play. That will become channel one. And then you can plug in your microphone into channel two and you can record both your voice and it simultaneously. Now, I keep saying now, right? I just feel like now, 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 now! I don't know, I'm, I'm living in the now. Is that it? Okay. But anyways, the unit is very simple to use. Basically, all of your control functions are right here on the front. These right here are for your mics. Over here, you have your headphone, your balance, very, very simple to use. Um, the nicest thing though, is the fact that it has smart features built inside of the unit. Now the smart features are like this. You're going to hit the input of your microphone. You're going to hit this little green button down here. You're going to hit the microphone again. This will turn red. And as it turns red, you'll start speaking, talking, singing, playing your guitar and it will actually automatically set your levels 
perfectly. So you'll have no clipping, no oversaturation, no bad sound. It'll actually make it so that, that you cannot get any clipping. Uh, a lot of people who are new to recording, um, even my cameraman, he was talking to me this morning, he was saying, yeah, when he was working with his friend that all, you know, everything was in the red and they had to compress it and do all that stuff. Well, you're not going to have to worry about that with the Evo 4 because it's going to automatically set your level for you. So gone are the days of clipping and a bad signal. It makes it pretty much completely easy, dummy proof to do. I mean, really, really simple. Now, if you're somebody out there who is a blogger, a vlogger, and stuff like that. And let's say that you're talking and then on somebody else talking, you want to mute. To simply mute your volume, all you have to do is hit one or both buttons. Another thing that's pretty neat, let's say that you're wanting to use a stereo synth or something like that, and you actually want to have both channels and set the line level for both of them. You simply press one channel, press the other, same steps we talked about before, the green button, and then all of a sudden you'll be able to set for both channels, the input gain, which is really, really cool. And like I said before, with this, you're gonna get no clipping or anything else. So it's really, really simple to use. Um, $130 gets you a little device that only requires USB power. So you simply plug it into your laptop or wherever you're going. I, I had it currently plugged into my iMac. The unit automatically powers up. It requires no batteries, no external stuff like that. So you can take it on the road with you anywhere you go. And I've heard some people like talk about this and they're like, oh, this is like plastic. It's like junk. Okay. It's not junk in any way. Okay. It's not junk. I'm just telling you right now, I'm bouncing around, bouncing it off my chair. It is not junk. So those reviewers out there who are saying, oh, you know, you really got to worry about the wheel. It's going to break off. Really? Right on the wheel, right on my chair. Really? Uh, I don't see it breaking. Yeah, camera tried to screw it down there, but you know, couldn't really make it. But honestly, it's not built cheaply whatsoever. It's actually built very, very well. Yeah, it may be made of plastic, but not every plastic is made like a milk carton. You know what I'm saying? There are high grade plastics out there that are very tough and dur very durable. And this happens to be one of them. It just really does. Um, for something at this price level, at $130, that is so flexible and does so many different things, I, I really like the product. Now, I didn't have time to do a total audio test on this. We tried to make a video before doing the audio test, but we were just like, ah, it'd be better to actually do an actual you know, music or something or actually bring a whole video to you guys actually using it. So we'll do the audio test separately. I thought today we just basically kind of just show you the unit. Now, inside the box, you get the unit itself, you get all your software registration, you get the power cable, and there's also some freebies that come along with the unit that actually help you do your recording. So if you're just somebody who's just basically starting off from the ground up, you don't know what you're doing whatsoever, but you wanna be a YouTuber, you wanna do your streaming, and you wanna be able to talk and do all that, you can do all that with the Evo 4. So very, very versatile. And the fact that the smart features are built into it, you don't have to worry about your input gain being you know, oversaturated, getting clipping. That's a great thing for somebody who has no idea what they're doing. Plus, depending on the DAW that you're using, I use Logic. Inside of Logic, you can completely control the parameters of the Evo 4. So if you don't wanna do it all manually, you can simply do it through the DAW, making it a very, very flexible product. So me, I like it. That's enough said. I mean, $130 is not that much money. I mean, my gas bill, sometimes my electric bill is higher than that. And if you want to be able to like do things in the industry, but don't have the money, like just say you're a guy out there who right now you're like, man, I really want to do voiceovers. I got a job. I could do voiceovers, but I don't have the equipment. Guess what? $130, a couple of minutes of setup. And guess what? You're up and going doing your voiceovers with the Evo 4. Um, the voice clip that I did make before, I will say, sounded just fine. I had used the SM7B. A lot of people know this microphone. Joe Rogan uses it on all of his shows. A lot of people out there just use this particular microphone, and it sounded pretty pretty good. But I'm going to buy a cloud lifter because I've just read a lot of good things about the cloud lifter working with the SM7B. So before I bring my actual music test and everything, I'm just going to get a little bit more gear on my end because microphones are completely separate you know, than this. This is a recording interface. This isn't the microphone. So, you know, you can go out and buy a cheap Samsung SM58 copy. It's going to sound okay. So looking online, you could probably buy yourself 
a really un unbelievably cheap laptop computer. There are laptops I've seen them for $200, you know, even less. So you could buy a pretty low end laptop. You could buy this unit, a really low end microphone that costs like 40 or 50 bucks from Sam Ash. And for literally under $500, you could be completely up and going for doing your voiceovers and stuff like that. Now, obviously, if you're gonna be somebody who's making YouTube videos or you know, you're know you doing stuff that's streaming games and all that stuff, you're gonna to have to buy all that other external equipment. But for all your recording needs, if you're just doing basic stuff, which means you're not trying to record an orchestra or a band, you obviously can't do that with the Evo 4. I mean, you could, but you'd have to record the tracks all two at a time and then bounce them and ping pong them around to get what you want. I mean, we used to do that back in the tape days, like with an eight track recorder, we'd record eight tracks, then we'd move all those tracks down to a track, then record more tracks and more tracks. I mean, you could do that, but it would be kind of, you know, it'd be a little bit more you know time consuming, obviously. But for anybody who just needs two instruments or one instrument, their voice, who wants to get in to doing recording and doesn't want to spend a lot of money, you guys should definitely go out and check out more reviews around the net. Check out what people are saying about the Evo 4. I am totally floored with this particular product. I mean, if it came to a, if it would have come to market at $100, you'd honestly probably see me dancing around in this video because I'm just like, whoa, everything works. It works easy. The sound sounds good. It's not made junky, as you guys can see from me bouncing the thing around on my floor. It's not made junky. Um, just check it out, man. I personally, I give this an editor's choice you know, award for the price category that's in. Because if you go out and you look at all of the different interfaces out there, and I did, I went on Sweetwater, a bunch of other places, I looked at them, I looked at some Behringer's. And if you look at the features, you know, the ones that are over like $139 will be will be the 24-bit 96 hertz, but you're also going to see a bunch of ones that are 16 with lower specs and everything else that are right in that same price range. So if you want high quality, you want good stuff, we'll have a link down below. Also, if you guys like what you see on the channel, you'd like to see more, hey, hit that sub button because I'd love to see you here. If you'd like to support the channel and you don't have any money, you can try Amazon Prime for free for 30 days. It doesn't cost you a penny. It actually helps the channel. They kick me down. And if you're a person out there who really loves the channel, hey, we've got Patreon. We'll have that down below. And for a single lousy dollar, you can support us. So I'm Eric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow, and we've been checking out the Evo 4 by Audion. A low-priced, very well-made interface for those who don't have a lot of money but still want quality. Peace.